Hello Scorpio, this is Debs, Devil Claire Channel Guidance, and we are here for your reading for mid-June 2021. So great to be with you guys. I hope everyone is well out there, healthy and safe, and thank you for being here. Scorpio, someone's about to make a very fast U-turn. Um, there's a sense that they have misread a situation. Someone here is feeling a lot of regret, a lot of sadness, a lot of remorse for not seeing someone's worth. Um, it could be that two people have parted. It might have been a very casual on-off situation. It could have been a bit friends of benefits. It could have been a couple of days dating and somebody headed off to be with somebody else. There is a sense of somebody realizing they made a mistake and there is going to be a return. But the person that made the mistake doesn't know if the other person's going to accept them back. They could have known that they didn't treat them as well as they could have treated them. Maybe there wasn't a lot of truth spoken or the whole truth. And there's a sense of wanting to make things right. So Scorpio, whether this is you, whether this is someone that you are returning to, okay, uh, or whether or not this is uh, for my cross watchers, okay, we will see, we will see. Connecting with the fifth dimension using a crystal quartz and the deck is, as always, the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. All right, guys. All right. Michael's saying better late than never. <laughs> better late than never. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining me in this reading for my Scorpios. What does Scorpio need to know, please, Michael, for mid-June 2021? <laughs> oh, Tara amazes me. Okay. His energy is with me. Um, Cedric, my spirit boy, is with me. My two spirit guides, Angela and Rose. White Owl is also with me, my shaman guide. Um, yeah, Michael's on my left. Oh, okay. He's somebody is wanting to keep something very quiet. I'm seeing someone put their finger to their lips and kind of shh, you know, like shh, keep it quiet. Okay. He's big smile though, smiling at me. Um, so this is this is not something that is um negative somebody is not you know trying to keep a secret because they're trying to hide something it's just not wanting the world to know i'm hearing yet okay uh, he's showing me the he's showing me the world globe globe the world globe this could be connected to pisces that came through in their reading too hmm keep hearing better late than never okay all right, guys. Mm. So we had two jumping cards, King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy. Somebody here could be connected to an Aquarius Libra Gemini who wants to have a chat about a passionate new start. Scorpio, you could be sat in the King of Swords, wanting to have an honest conversation with somebody about relighting that flame. Shall we start again? I want to tell you what I've been thinking, how I've been feeling. Somebody also could have sought legal advice somehow from someone and is hoping that that information is going to enable them to start again. Okay, guys. Wow. We will see what comes through. If you're ready, let's get into this. Yep. Messages of passion. There we go. Wow. Oh, I'm hearing I've got something to offer you now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Somebody may have wait, wanted to wait to get themselves financially stable. Or there could be a message coming in from someone about wanting, I've got to say it, long-term commitment. We have your card of Scorpio here. We have Capricorn. We have Pisces. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, I'm hearing that shh again. You got the moon. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, okay, Scorpio. There's a lot of stress here. There's a lot of fear. A little bit confused. Feeling as if I'm hearing you've lost your chance. You may also fear, Scorpio. That someone is not going to accept you back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing really unhappy without you. I want you back. Oh, Scorpio. Okay. Whew. Um, I'm feeling very, very hot. And my, um, it's like my stomach's gone up to my mouth. It's a very strange feeling. Okay. Empress in the reverse. Somebody feels as if they've lost a chance with an empress. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Goodness me. Goodness me. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I've got to show you what's under the deck, guys. Six of Swords. Somebody might have maybe very quietly, secretively moved towards somebody else, maybe had an affair, stepped out of a situation. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. This is also someone wanting to bring peace and calm to a connection and bring someone back into their life. Page of Wands. There may be a message of passion. The lovers. Somebody's made a choice. It could be to be with a Leo. Wow. Underneath that, Three of Cups, somebody wanting to come back into the fold. I'm hearing somebody ready to open up with the Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles rather, in the reverse. Somebody's now wanting to build a solid partnership. Seven of Swords in reverse, no more sneaky energy. Wow. Somebody's having the strength, courage and confidence to make a return. No more sneakiness. Okay. No longer deception or deceiving themselves. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's been reviewing the past. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's your reading. <laughs> Shall we end it there? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Um, checking the camera angle. Yeah. Hope my little lights aren't too bright for you guys. You can see the cards. All right. So Scorpio. I'm sorry. I feel I'm connecting with a male Scorpio. Sorry, girls. I get very clear messages from Archangel Michael, and I know that gender is not usually, uh, sorry, tarot is not usually gender uh, specific, but for me, it really does seem to be that way sometimes. Scorpio, we start off with the Eight of Wands. Now, you could be wanting to travel to see someone. You could be wanting to message someone. Okay, and it seems to be pertaining to the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could be your energy, Scorpio. Maybe there was a lack of financial security and you didn't feel good enough for someone. You didn't feel stable enough. You had nothing to offer. Or the Ten of Pentacles can simply be you thinking about long-term commitment. Really, I'm hearing locking someone down, really saying, you know, this is the person for me. Why have I been messing around? Why have I been delaying? Why have I been dragging my feet? Why did I go off and maybe look at somebody else? It's a sense of, I really now understand what I've lost and I'm coming back in. I'm coming back in. Okay. In the past, Scorpio, I've got to be honest, you could have sat in the devil energy. Now, simply some of you may have moved away from a Capricorn or you were... Thinking about the sexual energy, you were thinking about the passion, the lust, the desire, because this is the God of Pan, right? God of lust and desire. It may also be that you realize that this may be overly sexual energy, kind of turn someone off, push someone away. Maybe this is someone that didn't really know that you had feelings. It was all about the passion. Or you may have taken control of a very negative situation that dragged you down, Scorpio. And you're now realizing that you're wanting to definitely... Michael's showing a car going round a roundabout and coming back in the opposite direction. Definitely wanting to do a U-turn back to someone. After that energy, Scorpio, you shifted into the death card in the reverse. You, for some reason couldn't close out a cycle you found it very difficult 
or you were waiting to transform your life in order to be able to offer this person in the past some form of stable commitment. I feel that there may have been a little bit of a sense of pride. Maybe Scorpio, you were dealing with somebody who was financially very stable themselves. Maybe you just lost your job. You couldn't afford to travel to see them, whatever this was. And there's a sense of, I need to get myself grounded. I need to actually get serious about life now. I need to have something to offer this person. Because you're now realizing that maybe things were a bit flighty in the past. Maybe it was you coming onto somebody really strong with all the passion, but you kind of then headed off into another direction or in a different direction. And you walked away. I'm feeling you definitely walked away. And it was you, Scorpio. Michael's saying, yes. Wow. You walked away. But there's a sense that you couldn't do anything about it. Now, you could have lived in a different country than someone else or a different state. You had to go back. Could have been to do with a pandemic. You couldn't travel to see this person. It could be because you might have had to end things officially with somebody else in order to move back towards someone that you may have seen as a little bit of a light flirtation. Okay, um, but somebody now that you're realizing, wow, I can't believe I walked away from that person. And I really feel this is someone, Scorpio, that you saw as an empress. And you're realizing, I want that person back. I screwed up. Maybe, Scorpio, to be honest, you didn't tell the whole truth. And everybody's done it, right? No judgment. But there's a sense of, I want to sort things out. I want to sort things out. There could have been issues here I'm hearing to do with religion or culture. You could have been dealing with maybe, um, I'm not going to say controlling because that's really unfair. And I want to be gentle in this reading. It could be that you were very attached to, say, a mother, your mother. And your mother didn't approve with your choice, so you walked away from someone. You're now realizing that you might have missed a big opportunity to be with someone that you realize you have feelings for. Yeah. In your thoughts, we have Pisces energy. You've been keeping very quiet about your thoughts, your feelings. You could also have felt a very strong telepathy with this person from the past and kind of coming to the shocking revelation that this could have been a past life connection. You could have known this person in a past life. You may have then delved into spirituality if you're not already spiritual, done some research on past life connections because there's a sense that you suddenly realize that you cannot get this person off your mind. You may feel their energy around you. Now, the high priestess is also in the reverse. You're not wanting to just fantasize about a situation. You're wanting the reality. You're wanting now to take steps towards this person to bring them back into your life. You're ready to open up and express your feelings. Now, I think the problem you're going to have, Scorpio, the problem you're going to have is that you could know that maybe things didn't end well with this person. Maybe you simply up and left. Maybe you blocked communication. Maybe you realized that this person perhaps came to the conclusion that you were connected to somebody else and you had to sort that situation out so that things were clean. That might be what you're opening up about. So Archangel Michael, when does the Queen of Swords in the reverse come through for my Scorpios, please? Timing, please, Michael. Thank you. I'm hearing the 18th of July to... Michael's pointing forward. Ongoing. Wow. Okay. Mm. This is going to be a little bit of a tricky conversation, <laughs> Scorpio. You're going to have to... Be very, very certain that you want this person because you may get a big pushback. And it may be because they're fearful that you are hiding secrets. 
And this is you needing to have the courage, Scorpio, to open up. And particularly for you Scorpio guys out there, I'm feeling I'm connecting with a male or masculine Scorpio. Bless you, you do find it difficult to express your feelings. It's just a trait of your personality. Nothing you can do about it. You're very intense, you feel very deeply. There's a sense of having all these emotions underneath the surface, but you don't tend to express them. And that could be half the problem. Because the energy that you're thinking about in this period of time is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Mm. Worried that someone here could be an Aquarius Libra Gemini is going to cut you out. No, I'm really not interested in connecting with you again. I'm sorry. Yeah, there were things that I'm, I just don't know in the past. I don't think you were honest with me. You kind of upped and left. You know, it's over for me. You're worried you're going to get that reaction. What is fascinating, Scorpio, is that in this person's energy, they're hiding very deep feelings for you themselves. I mean, the moon could be fear. Yes, this person could be terrified in accepting you back into their life, particularly if they felt that you weren't honest with them in the past. But the moon is also very deep feelings. So fear of taking you back. This person has feelings for you, Scorpio, and I think you know it intuitively. The moon is also, of course, illusion. They can't really see either your true situation or what you're actually offering them. So what we have here is, as I said, a very tricky conversation coming up. Your thoughts are, this person is never going to take me back. They're going to say, it's over. I've cut you out of my life. I've moved on. I don't think you were honest with me in the past. You just walked away. What they're worried about is that you are keeping secrets. And they're also very nervous in expressing that they have feelings for you. It could be a sense of pride. Sure, it could be. You could be straight out dealing with a Cancerian, with a crab and the moon. In your actual fears, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, you could be thinking about relocation, okay? Getting up the money to relocate. Eight of Wands can be actually moving. And in which case, you're worried about letting go of maybe a very secure position. Maybe you've got a good job that brings in money and you want to talk to your person about that. I'm earning money where I am but I really want to be with you. How can we sort this out? How can we actually be in one place? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse could be you worried about the loss of finances to do with the situation. It's what you're nervous about. For some of you, you're just nervous that there's been so much time that you've wasted not making a decision that this person has moved on to somebody else. You can't really see the situation they're in. That could be something you want to find out about. Because with the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone who might have been working on their finances, but there's a cobweb there. There's been a, quite a lot of time since the two of you, I feel, properly connected. What is really lovely to see, Scorpio, is that with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel that you are really ready to make some kind of serious decision. I don't think you're going to rush it. I think, first of all, you're going to want to find out how your person feels. You may be looking at sorting out your finances to make a move, maybe in the next few months. But you are sitting in the Knight of Pentacles. I feel that you are hoping that this person is going to accept you back. And in which case, you are going to be doing things, Scorpio, very, very differently. None of this devil energy, okay? None of this kind of messing around, keeping things secret, keeping things to yourself. You're coming out into the open with how you feel and what you want. And I think you are wanting your empress, who may have turned their back on you, and not put energy and effort into this connection with you, Scorpio, potentially because they didn't know what they were dealing with with you. 
It could be simply a lack of communication, two people not expressing their true feelings. The final card is a bit challenging for you because it is the Nine of Swords. There's a sense of, I don't know if I should really hang on to this. I'm not really sure how the other person feels. Or you could be feeling a bit isolated and alone. Maybe there'll be a period of time where the two of you realise you do want to work on a situation. But maybe the two of you are kept apart from each other geographically. And this is stressing you out. Well, I've, I'm, I'm going to make my intentions known that I want this. But I'm nervous because maybe, Scorpio, there was a sense of keeping secrets in the past. Maybe you didn't communicate your feelings. And on top of that, there could be distance between you and this person. At this point, which is the outcome of the reading, you may be nervous that this person is not going to wait for you to take action, to actually relocate, to get your money sorted out. And that's what you're nervous about. Clarification. And I love to see this, guys. This is a really beautiful energy. With the energy, first of all, of where do we start? Nine of Cups in the reverse. There was a sense of really enjoying this person's company, ultimate fulfillment, having lots of fun, really enjoying yourself. And it was mutual. Or you could have got involved in a situation with someone whilst you were still hanging on to somebody from your past. And this person that you're now wanting to move back towards may ultimately have known it but never said anything. Known that you were actually still connected to another person. Whatever happened, this may be overindulgence ended, okay, or the affair ended. And I feel that what you want to do now is with the Knight of Cups, move towards this person, back towards this person to express, yeah, I did keep secrets from you. I wasn't in a good place. My situation was very toxic. I had to sort it out or I had to let go of someone. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth, but that is the truth. And with the Knight of Cups, I want to come in. I want to tell you that with the Three of Swords, I know that this caused you pain. Or you could relay that you were heartbroken because you had to make a serious decision. But you are hoping, Scorpio, that with actually expressing your feelings, which is what the Knight of Cups is, this person will no longer be pushing you away, not interested. I don't want what you're, you're offering me. They will accept your offer. I'm hearing fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, it's going to be okay. Because this is you, and this for me is so beautifully simple. And I love it when tarot just comes out and it's really clean. Wow, if I can pick up the cards. Hmm. Here we have you, Knight of Swords. This is the absolute truth. This is everything out on the table. I want to be open with you. I want to be honest with you. Let's really talk about this. Beautiful. There could have been some kind of legal situation you had to take control of. It's not necessarily a marriage that was ending. It could be you had to sell a property. It could be that you had to get another job. Whatever this was, you had to take control. Or this is simply you opening up. Ace of Wands. Opening up about this passionate new start. Or maybe telling somebody the truth that in the past, yeah, to be honest... I've got to be honest, it was just sexual chemistry. It was ace of wands. You know, you turn me on, we had a good time and I couldn't be with you, so I had to leave. What you're hoping is that with the energy of the Empress in the reverse, this beautiful Empress that I feel either realised that you were hiding something and moved out of your life or decided not to put energy into this, you may be hoping this person pulls you back into their life, allows you to come back in. You could also, of course, be relaying the fact that maybe somebody that you were with found out that you were having a fling, okay? And that's why you had to quickly disconnect from your person. Apologies for that. With the Empress in the reverse, this could also be maybe an overprotective mother, a mother who didn't agree with your choice, Scorpio, and maybe wanted to put out very strong boundaries with you 
and express their distaste. I don't like this person. I don't want you to be with this person. This isn't the right person for you. You may well have had to speak your truth to your mother. Who knows? So guys, I think we're going to delve in and just see what else comes through. Okay, here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the Eight of Wands crossed with the Ten of Pentacles? What is the Eight of Wands crossed with the Ten of Pentacles? You're wanting to communicate. You're wanting to communicate to someone that I'm hearing you're ready to take charge. You're wanting to take action now towards someone that you may have been very often on about. Or you may be wanting to relate to someone that you had to end a situation with somebody else. All right. Yeah, the world. Now, there could be long distance between the two of you, which has meant that maybe on top of everything else that happened, you couldn't actually see this person. Or the world is you wanting a brand new star, wiping the slate clean with someone after maybe ending a situation with somebody else. The truth will be spoken with the Knight of Swords. This is the truth. This is what I want. No longer feeling heartbroken, sad, no longer feeling as if you've missed this wonderful opportunity. You're taking action, Scorpio. You could be wanting to message someone to say you're going to get on a plane or a train or whatever this is and see them. I'm ready to leave the past behind. I want to be with you. Let's do this. Wow, Scorpio. What is the energy of the death card in the reverse? You didn't transform your situation, but you're also incredibly unhappy, Scorpio. I feel as if whenever this, whatever this was, connection ended, you didn't really want to move on from it because I feel as if you realised this was something very powerful, but maybe your circumstances in the past meant that you just couldn't be with this person. And I feel you've been hanging on to kind of the hope of bringing this back in, this connection, being with this person. Sun in reverse. Oh, my goodness, guys. So very unbalanced in your Scorpio energy, not being able to make a transformation or a change. Deeply unhappy about it. You could have had to walk away from a Leo or, as I said, a Capricorn or maybe even a Pisces or a Cancerian. We also have the Empress, Taurus and Libra. Six of Swords in the reverse, you could never really move on from this. You were standing at crossroads. You didn't want to leave this person in the past. You didn't want to do it. Page of Cups in reverse, no messages of love or affection, but you hung on to this Scorpio. You really didn't want this to end. This is a struggle for you. You may have realized at this point in the immediate past that you've maybe even fallen in love with this person. But it was after you walked away. You know, shock. Oh my God, I've walked away from my person. Now, what is the high priestess in reverse? I feel that Scorpio, you're wanting to come in to talk to someone. You know, you may be needing to gather the courage to come in to say, I'm ready. I want to be with you. I'm sorry. Is there a chance that you'll accept me back? Because I think you feel this very strong connection. Wow. So in your thoughts, speaking your truth, not wanting to live in fantasy land anymore or missing a Pisces that maybe left your life. Yeah, ten of swords in reverse. Oh my goodness. So you may have known that you caused someone a lot of pain, a lot of unhappiness, even if they didn't mention it, even though there's not a lot of communication. Or you, or you yourself, want to heal a situation you don't want something to completely close out three of cups you're wanting to reunite with someone more leo energy interesting the strength card needing to have the courage and confidence to come back in five of cups before you sat in regret feeling it's over now you're beginning to feel that there could be a situation developing where this person is going to be accepting of you returning the lovers, you feel this very strong bond with them. I mean, that's past life connection, a lot of physical attraction, a lot of chemistry and also emotions. 
So you may have got yourself involved with someone that you felt was a quick fling, it's a bit of fun, and later realised that you'd fallen in love. You couldn't get this person off your mind. Archangel Michael, what is the Queen of Swords in reverse? I feel that, Scorpio, this is how you believe the other person is going to feel when you come back in. They're going to just say, I'm sorry, I'm really not interested. I think you want to try. I think you're very nervous about reaching out, but I think you're going to try. I think you mean business, Scorpio. I think you've realised this person is, is the person you, you want to be with. This is your destiny. Yeah. And I think you're ready to do this. You don't want to coast anymore. You don't want to wait anymore. And I feel that you're going to be speaking to this person or maybe messaging them to say, I'm coming back. I, I want to be with you. I've realised I miss you. But you're very nervous with the Queen of Swords in reverse. You're going to get a really harsh truth that this person has decided to move on. Yeah, terrified. Look at that. Wow. Eight of Swords, trapped with fear in your thoughts that this person's just going to say, I'm sorry, it's too late. Page of Wands, can I see you? Can we meet up? Four of Wands, Scorpio. I mean, you may be seriously wanting to do a big move to offer this person commitment. You know, I want to be with you. I've realised what I walked away from. Can we talk about maybe living together in the future? You're serious. Wow. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. You feel this is your person. You feel this is also a destined connection. You want a new cycle with this person and you're ready with the full energy. Aries, and we also have Sag. That you're wanting to take a leap of faith and a risk. No more coasting. No more waiting. You haven't been able to walk away from this person. You haven't been able to heal. And with the three of wands, you are ready to turn your back on the past and move forward. Another card of moving. Judgment. You're returning to someone. You're making the really serious judgment call to do this. It hasn't been easy. Michael, what is the energy of the moon? Now, how is your person going to react? I don't know. They may be a bit nervous. They may be a bit nervous. But I feel that they have deep feelings for you, Scorpio, which they're going to express. They're going to express. Yeah. But this person knows their worth. Okay, I do because they're sitting in the energy of the Empress, they know their worth. Okay, you can't lie to this person, and this is someone who may have other people around them wanting to be with them, and you may know that. So they are nervous, they're sitting in fear, they are keeping secrets from you, but the secrets are Scorpio only that they have feelings for you too. That they haven't expressed mainly because you haven't expressed them so two people holding themselves back from each other not really speaking their truth they're also very nervous that you're not going to be coming forward to them with the absolute truth but i think you will i think you're ready chariot in reverse more cancerian energy this is also someone who didn't really know what you were planning on doing. Now, you may say to this person, I'm going to travel, I'm going to move towards you, I'm going to relocate. We have so many travel cards here, guys. This could also be you wanting to travel to see this person. They're sitting in the Queen of Wands. This is somebody very strong. You're very attracted to this person. They get things done. They also, though, hold no prisoners. This is someone who will tell it like it is. No holding back. Five of Wands, they're very conflicted as to whether or not they should bring you back into their life. They're very nervous. They also don't want any drama in their life. Yes, Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm. Maybe this person realised that you treated them as a bit of an option in the past. It was a fling. They might have known you were connected to somebody else and you didn't admit it. They're nervous that you're still sat in the Knight of Wands in reverse energy. They're also wondering whether or not it's a good idea to move passionately forwards with you again. 
justice. They're desperately wanting to keep their balance. They may worry that you're still in a legal contract with somebody else. This is Libra energy. King of Cups in reverse, please tell me the truth. I do not want to be manipulated. I need the truth on the table. Because with the star energy, this is somebody who could be well known. This is somebody who also had to spend some time healing from this connection. Maybe unbeknown to you, this person was broken hearted when you left. We have Aquarius. The Nine of Pentacles. This is a woman who knows her worth. She's very strong. She's very financially stable. She does not cope very well with being treated as an option. She usually turns her back. Queen of Pentacles. She's very grounded, very stable. She could earn her own money. She could be running her own business. She could have just got a promotion. Wow. Talk about lots of queens. Look at this. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This is definitely pre-Empress energy. Absolutely beautiful. This, is, this person is a star. Wow. Could be in their own right. It could be this person is just desperately needing to keep themselves balanced. Maybe they have a very busy life. But with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, there is passion, there is love. This person can stand on their own two feet. They're not wanting anything from you, Scorpio, in terms of maybe financial stability. They're the empress. They've got it all themselves. Maybe that's what you're worried about. With the three of pentacles, they are willing to put effort in to build some kind of foundation with you. But there's a sense of if there's any indication that you're coming back around to mess them around, to cause chaos, to lie to them, it's kind of game over, Scorpio. You've got to be sitting in the energy of having enough courage to really speak your truth and to cope with maybe some questions. Michael, what is the Nine of Swords? Now, this is where you're sitting at this point of time. This is where you're sitting at this point of time. You're a little bit nervous, you're a little bit stressed, you're not quite sure what you should do. You've got to make a decision. You do have strong feelings for this person. But maybe this is you needing to give this person some time. Maybe you're just needing to give this person some time. It may be also that there's a lot of stress here because whoever the Empress is may say to you, well, look, this is all very romantic and passionate that you're rushing back to me. You've made a decision. You want this to work. You're making a big move towards me. But they may also be very protective of themselves and their life. So Scorpio, if you're planning on saying, moving towards them and say, look, I, I can relocate to be with you, but I actually want to live with you like immediately. I've got to be honest. I think this person is, is going to say no. I think they're going to say way too fast, too soon, way too fast, too soon. I'm just not, I'm not ready to get that serious that quickly. I get the feeling, Scorpio, that you almost I keep getting the energy of just you wanting to lock this person down. You know, well, if I actually live with them, then they can't possibly be with anyone else. It may be in the nicest sense, a little bit controlling. You know, I, I want to make sure they're not with anyone else. So I'm actually going to move in. Well, I mean, if this person has a busy life, you know, they may be a career person. They could be a single mom. They may not be conducive to that. OK, and I feel that you may understand that you have to do it slowly, slowly. I mean, this is equal give and take. This is one step in front of the other. This is, yes, taking action, sure, but not rushing this, not pushing this person, not putting pressure on them, because I don't think that they will react very well if you do that. OK, 
Just saying, it's the energy I'm getting. So I think this is this is somebody who's going to say that way. Thank you, Michael. You know, we can see each other. We can spend time together. But I'm not making any major decisions. I need some time. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'll pick that con up in a moment, guys. I saw it fly out. Yeah, I need just to make sure that you are... We are, thank you, Michael, on the same page. Do you want what I want? No rushing, no pushing, no pressure. Okay? Mm. It's very important for someone out there. Because this is someone who I feel has been nervous that you've been keeping secrets. Now, if this is you, Scorpio, no other cards want to come out. Just to say, if this is you, and you've got a lump sum of money, and you want to move towards someone because that's your money to set yourself up. But your idea is to have enough money to keep yourself going financially for a period of time. And then maybe in three or four months, you talk about moving in. I don't know whether or not this person is going to want that. There's something about this Empress energy. She absolutely is not going to be pushed until she's really ready. She only becomes the Empress after a lot of pain. You know, so if she has been through a fair bit in her life, she's not going to want to take things super fast. You're going to have to give her some time. If you're not prepared to give her that time, if you want like an immediate answer, it may be that you have to accept defeat. Because this is someone who I feel is all about safety and security and predominantly for her and her family if she has children or just for herself she could have worked damn hard say for a business in a business earning her own money and she may feel well do you just want to have a good life because you see that i'm sitting as the empress she's going to be nervous she's going to want the truth now let me pick up that card that fell guys one minute Okay, guys, so there we go. All righty. Let's see what we have, first of all. Okay, ooh, yes. Yeah, all right. Um, hmm. I'm feeling that this person is going to give you things to think about. You're going to have a conversation and you're going to go away and just quietly think about what has been said. Because we start with the energy of the Hermit. You could have strong Virgo in your chart. Or you could be simply thinking, doing a lot of reflection. What do I really want from this? What should I do now? It could be that you can't move to be with this person for a few months, but you just wanted to know if they'd be receptive to you. You're doing some thinking with the Two of Cups. You know this is a powerful connection. Two of Pentacles. Should I actually relocate? Should I do this? Can I afford to do this? It's a big step. At this point, maybe following this conversation, Scorpio, with this person standing up for herself, protecting herself, not wanting to rush, that may have been a bit of a tower moment for you. That you're kind of coping with, wow, I thought if I came to this person and said, I want to live with you, I want to be with you, let's get serious. This person would have taken you into the realms and said, wonderful, I've been waiting for that. No, you may be quite shocked in realizing, Scorpio, this person is kind of still keeping you at arm's length. That may be the tower in reverse. Oh my goodness, yes. You getting a bit of a difficult message of truth. They want you in their life, Scorpio, but they're not willing to do anything too serious until they can really build up that trust with you. This has got you burdened with a Ten of Wands. Yes. Wow. Because with the energy of the Ten of Cups, maybe you wanted to have the Ten of Cups with them. We could live together in this beautiful house. 
No, this person has said no. They want to see you. They want to maybe date you, have a commitment with you. Let's start slowly. Also, this person may say to you, well, if you want to move in with me, as long as you can afford to pay half the rent and half the mortgage, you may not have anticipated that. Oh, OK, so I can't just move in with you to prove to you that I'm serious. You want to go half and half on everything. Well, yeah, she's the empress. <laughs> you don't mess around with an empress. King of Wands, you're taking action. You're definitely moving forward. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio, you do mean business. But with the Ace of Swords as well, you're going to need to speak your truth. You're also definitely going to have to cut out anything in the past that's held you back. And with the Magician, you're going to manifest moving into this connection, but not rushing in, you know, immediately blurting out, you know, can we live together? Will you marry me? No, this is okay. I realize Empress in the reverse. Uh, you just want to take things super slowly. This is regularly dating. Let's pull right back and take it slow. Because the impression I get, Scorpio, and of course, guys, this can be completely reversed, right? This could be your person's energy. The energy I'm feeling, though, is... You realising you missed a massive opportunity, realising you had feelings for someone you may have had a fling with, needing to sort out your situation financially or with somebody else to break free maybe, and then consider a big move to be with this person who may actually live a distance. A lot of travel cards here. But this person has been badly hurt. They've been scorned. They've kind of been left maybe one too many times. And they're not going to take you back just like that. They're not. This is someone who is very nervous, very self-protective, and they're going to need time to build up that trust in you. So this is you, I feel, realising, backtracking a little bit, okay, well, my initial plan is not working, so that's okay. Let's just take it slow. But Scorpio, this is looking like a beautiful connection. There's love. There's the two of you manifesting this really lovely relationship back again. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. And we have the Ace of Wands here. This is also a woman who is not wanting you to come towards her with an overinflated libido. <laughs> okay, you need to push down a little bit of the ego in the nicest sense. Be open. Okay. And be a bit vulnerable as well. This is somebody who really wants to see the real you, not the person that you may show to the world on a regular basis. But guys, this is a beautiful reading. So slowly does it, Scorpio, and you will get what you want, which I feel is to move forward into a commitment with an empress. Leaving it there, it's been super to be with you guys. If this is your reading, you can reach me for a private reading, deborahclaire.com, details down below in the description box. Um, I'm going to leave it there. So take care and I shall be back with your next set of readings very soon. Bye now.